listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. We are here once again, and you know what time it is. It's that time of the year where once again we have that true honor talking to contestants on the amazing show. NBC, The Voice. We have the one and only Chechi. She, man, not just a four chair turn. She's on Gwen's team. Gwen Stefani said that her voice, her sound is original. She had the coaches emotional during the battle rounds. I'm so happy that we got this chance to do an interview. How are you doing, Chechi? Lovely. I'm doing awesome. Thank you for having me. Man, appreciate your time. I appreciate you just uh, hopping on here to give us some feedback on your experience on The Voice. So take us back, man. What was it like being that battle round? It was amazing. The coaches, you had the emotional. What was going through your mind? My goodness. During the battle rounds, I was I was so emotional, you know, for a handful of reasons. But I I remember going between okay, keep it together and try to sound perfect or make sure they feel it. And ultimately I decided, well, I I think this is the time to really wear my heart on my sleeve because I know that Gwen, you know, really, really put emphasis on, I want to get that emotion and I want to, you know, just kind of know you a little bit deeper. And (laughs) it was a big risk for me personally, but I, I will say it was worth it and I have no regrets. And kind of go back to the four chair turn, because at one point, all the coaches wanted you. What was that like for you to experience all four turn for you and have them all say all those high, you know, compliments about your craft? Yeah, man. Oh, my gosh. So, you know, you go in shooting for the stars, right? Well, with everything I do. And I just kept saying four cheers, four cheers. What I did not calculate is how overwhelming that might feel to have to decide, you know. So it was definitely a thrill, but I I almost got a little overwhelmed during the performance when they turned around. My thought was, my goodness, let me let me just get to the end of the song, God. Mm. <laughs> and then um just taking in all of their feedback really made me feel like I had won already. Um, Because, you know, in this industry, those kind of, um, what's the word? I want to say validation, but there's a better word. Uh, Mm Cosigns are very, very, very helpful because I've sung this song a million times, you know, but it was on the voice that really just helped me get that exposure and just hearing that feedback from legends was just confirmation that I've been doing the right thing and that I'm on the right path. It was very awesome and interesting is that you first, you went to college to study uh, medicine. Yeah. And then you end up pursuing <laughs> music. Kind of explain how that worked when you said, Nora, I want to do this music. Right. Okay. So, I mean... My whole life, you know, I was very studious, a student, honors classes, all the way up to high school. Um, But, you know, I I was always involved in any kind of talent show going around, whether it was in town or in school. And after graduating, I was wired to study medicine, but I knew I was supposed to be doing music. I just didn't know, like, how to go about it. You know, and at that time, I didn't have like the mentorship to say, hey, this and that is an option. So I signed up for classes. And um, what happened, actually, I don't know if I've told this story just yet. What happened, to be exact, was um, there was an investor and I thought, oh, here's my chance. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of the push to allow me to say, you know, I, I want to give music my full support because for me, I don't think you can do both successfully. I think one will hurt because 
medicine requires just about the same amount of time and dedication because the material is so heavy and just little, little things can, you know, just throw you off. And so I was just thinking the next year I, I got to try it. And so my mom and my sister kept asking me, did you register for classes? And I just, mm-hmm. you know, I just kind of gave like weird yes answers and I didn't tell them about the investor, but that kind of, you know, gave me a little bit of confidence. So the day of the first day of the next year started and I was at home. My mom was like, aren't you supposed to be in school? And I was like, I didn't register. And when I tell you, I swore, I swear the ground shook. <laughs> it was like, it was like an earthquake. It was just like craziness. And guess what? The investor backed out due to management at that time. Uh, well, not even not even real management, just someone I was working with. Yeah. It, it fell through. And so I was just like, I remember looking around in my room, but that's when my real journey began. I just started grinding on the scene in Detroit. I mean, you speed up to now. You're on the biggest <laughs> stage on television, NBC The Voice. And by the way, I got to put this in. Uh, you can watch NBC The Voice Mondays and Tuesdays, 8 to 7 Central. We're talking to Chachi. She's on Gwen Stefani's uh, team. And man, I mean, like I said, just the fact that you you are just doing it on this level, on The Voice. I mean, it's, it's no stranger I mean, I think a lot of people will agree those four chairs were like a statement for for you to to be able to just come out swinging and before the battle rounds. What yeah, has it been like? I mean, what what was your mom saying? I mean, after all that, what is she saying now that she's seeing you um, compete on one of the best singing shows on the network right now? My mom is so proud. You know, it's it's definitely our moment, I would say. It's my moment is her moment and she's just thrilled. She's been a fan of the show forever. So to see her daughter on there, it's just life changing. And then, you know, to be in my episode too, I know that was wonderful for her. So I'm just I'm just grateful. It was the four years, that was just such a big win for my family, I feel like. It's a great happy moment. That we're still celebrating. When it comes to your coach, Gwen, let's, let's kind of brag on her. I mean, not only are you dealing with someone who's on top of the game, has so much wisdom in the music industry, what is something that that you really appreciate that you were able to learn from her and just being able to have those times with her in those um, sessions where y'all get to go over the game plan? Wow. Um, there's so many great things I can say about Gwen. Um, one of my favorite things about her is her balance between kindness and firmness. Um, I just have like a very kind personality and um, sometimes that can make people want to run over you as an artist and as a woman. And so just seeing her and how she operates and being direct and honest with so much grace was so inspiring and just kind of like a relief, like, okay, yeah, it can be done. You know, <laughs> I think we've all heard of stories in the industry where sometimes women get bad titles because of um, maybe a certain type of aggression. But um, through my journey, I started to understand, not that I agree with some of the ways that people have went about it, but The music industry is definitely a difficult and sometimes treacherous one. And so being able to talk to her and and just feel that energy and get that firmness with so much grace, it was it was just really inspiring. And it um, it it allowed me to kind of stand firm in how I'm operating. Yeah, let me know if I'm saying it correctly. It's Chechi Sarai, right? Chechi Sarai, yes. <laughs> Man, I mean, I've I read in the bio. Full name means God's wish. Yes, yes. That is awesome. I mean, what, last question I have for you. What will you say to those out there who 
they know in their gut this is what they want to do with their life. But maybe at that moment or before, they just hesitating. What word of encouragement based on your own experience, living your dream right now, being in the music industry and doing some amazing things on the show, what would you say to encourage those out there who needs that extra push to just go after, you know, their dreams? I would say um, definitely put God first and find clarity in your relationship with God so that you can be led by the Spirit um, because there's just so many ways that you can do it. And I'm a firm believer that God's plan and God's time are the best routes. And so I, I would make that the priority as much as it seems like, oh, I got to work on the single. Oh, I got to work on the brand. Before you even get to any of those things, you want to get right with God. I would also say um, uh, something that people don't talk about a lot is just making sure that um, your health is intact, you know, mentally and physically, because if you're not in good shape, you're not going to be able to properly execute anything um, at all or consistently. Man, great words. We're talking to the one and only Chachi mm -hmm. Sarai. Man, the amazing voice of this contestant. You can watch NBC, The Voice, on Mondays and Tuesdays, 8, 7 Central. Once again, Chachi, thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. Peace and blessings.